Hello, I'm Angela Wamboy, and these are the stories making headlines on Capital TV. Hundreds of Mandara teachers protested to Parliament to demand its intervention after the government declined to transfer them over insecurity. The over 800 teachers have been camping at the NET headquarters since Tuesday morning, waiting to be addressed by the Education Committee MPs who failed to turn up. Wajir South MP Abdullahi Dirie, who was present at the time, tried to prevail on the teachers to go back to their posts since security had been beefed up. The teachers, however, maintained that they will not report to their northern workstations, where their colleagues were executed by al-Shabaab militants last year. An official from the Teacher Service Commission had told Capital FM that they will collect data on those who absconded duty and forwarded to the head office for the action to be taken. The teachers have been given up to yesterday to report to work or face the sack. Fifteen students from Nairobi Aviation College have been charged for taking part in Monday's protest at the Nation Center. Charges facing them include taking part in unlawful assembly, malicious damage to property, and assault. They all denied the charges and were ordered to pay 200,000 shillings each to secure the release as the case proceeds. The students were demonstrating against an investigative story aired by NTV on the quality of certificates offered by their college. The newly appointed IABC Chief Executive Officer, Ezra Chiloba, has been sworn into office. Speaking during his inauguration at the Supreme Court, Simiu pledged to ensure the affairs of the commission are conducted professionally. Simiu urged parties taking part in the Kajiado and Homebe by-elections to ensure they conduct themselves peacefully and within the electoral laws. We have come a long way since 2007-2008 and we cannot afford to go back that path. The commission will not tolerate violation of the electoral code of conduct. It's our desire that elections, as a core to any democracy, will become a symbol of national unity and not division. And in the world of business, M-Pesa has been voted Kenya's leading super brand, moving up five places since the last survey in 2012. It tops the list of 20 super brands in Kenya, identified in a survey that incorporated the views of both marketing experts and Kenya's consumers. The survey, conducted by the London-based Centre for Brands Analysis, places the Kenya Red Cross Society second, while Safaricom comes in at third place, dropping two places from the previous survey. Other local brands that made the top 20 are Mumia Sugar, Kenchik, Equity Bank, Farmer's Choice, Butter and Crown Paints. It's now time for the Financial Report. We are the first team from London to win the Premier League. We are the first team to complete an entire Premier League season unbeaten. And now we are the first team to introduce a debit card for our fans in Kenya. The Imperial Bank Arsenal debit card is here. Earn redeemable gunner points and enjoy exclusive privileges and incentives. Visit your nearest Imperial Bank branch for your Imperial Bank Arsenal debit card. Imperial Bank, looking after your interest. In sports... Goromahi assistant coach Frank Auna is worried by the injuries of defenders Musa Mohammed and Godfrey Walusimi. As it is just nine days before they host Madagascar's CNAPS in the CAF Championships League first leg, Auna, who saw his side lose 3 0 to Zambian side Power Dynamos in a friendly, is however confident the team will be ready for the continental assignment. And that's a wrap up of the day's top stories. I've been your host, Angela Wamboy. For more on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV.